next speaker is uh, Qi Tia, who's going to talk about uh, grid in China. Thank you. So, uh, let's say Green is an open source project. Uh, we all can participate in it by doing what we're good at. So, people like me, and, uh, I'm not good at like coding, but I can still participate. Uh, I'm uh, joining the Green Chinese community on the April. I'm uh, contribute by first. I, I contribute by showing a lot on the chat room, sharing the project news and uh, uh, sharing the info. And then I, I I find out it's not that easy. Not 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 uh, like just simple like that. It's because there are so many extraordinary people in the community and so many extraordinary company, industry company in the community. So you can easily connect some dots. That's my uh, gets things happen. Get some uh, new project happen, new green project, like uh, open source project, like uh, ecosystem project, like uh, get some new meetup. That might help uh, more people get to know green. So it also can help green community. For, uh, so let's uh, talk about the community first a little bit. Who is in the community? Let's say uh, the, the timing. Uh, we can say that uh, the midnight launch on the beginning of this year, and uh, uh, we say that timing is kind of like uh, the winner of the market, the bearish of the market. So uh, we can imagine that someone uh, get to know Green and uh, fall in love with Green, join the community. Like is that someone that uh, stick around during the bear market? So it's just just not a short term investor. They might got some vision some uh, or technically involved so there are not uh, uh, it's, it's a lot of great people here and uh, for me uh, green is more like a, more like a diamond diamond has uh, really uh, many more different faces cuts so the green is like diamond because uh, it's uh, really great in a different way so it attract people in a different way for for instance there are people just uh, see the GitHub code and uh, it's really neat code so they, they get interesting in the project and uh, lots of people are uh, would like to uh, like 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 the project about the, it's fair like uh, no pre-mine no ICO things so the, all, all the cuts that uh, attract people uh, so and uh, I want to share that uh, 2019 this year and it's not two, 2009 because there are 10 years industry resource uh, before today. Uh, like there's a, so it's a kind of make the green community uh, got a lot of resource support, it's kind of uh, move fast, so um, it's kind of uh, we, we got uh, maybe some project can, can get more fun or like uh, the meetup will easily support it. So we we know this uh, a sponsor a sponsor like uh, this uh, Green Con one uh, event sponsor like uh, Quantum or the, the Spark all all come from China's company. So they are doing great on um, ten years before, and they, they are willing to support the developer and support the community to get uh, uh, the, the the project more healthier, better, and the fair for everyone long term community spirit. Uh, so the fears as uh, Fair for everyone, it's like there are so many roles in the community. So there are miners, mining facilities, there are funds, there are investors, and there are ex exchange, pool, and even ASIC manufacturer. And uh, they, they all on the community, and uh, because no one get a discount point, so uh, no one against each other. It's, uh, it's a really good atmosphere in the community. Uh, and the long-term community spirit, we, we all know the green, uh, the, the spirit of it, the, the design of it, also aimed to a, a really long-term project. So it's really good to for community members that uh, we can design some of the uh, events that uh, make a community member to uh, uh, get involved in long-term really deeply and uh, to uh, grow, grow their experience with the project. So. Uh, about about the green community in China, I want to introduce uh, a little bit. There are thousands of green fans in China, 
And uh, mainly there's uh, like more than five or six uh, WeChat group, each of them is uh, nearly uh, uh, 500 people and uh, or two or 300 people. And uh, it's, it's, well, I want to introduce someone that's called Machine Man. And he's, uh, he's a guy really interesting, he's doing a lot of tweets this year and on Chinese Twitter, Weibo. And uh, uh, about green, so uh, gathering a lot of active users that's uh, in, in this in this community. It's kind of like a center of the community. It's uh, very active. And uh, a second one I want to introduce. There's a, there's a, a, a pure tech group held by Xiao Jie. Xiao Jie is a, a, a contributor. Of the uh, he's uh, like uh, adopted BC since 2011, it's really early, and he's the developer of the uh, Green Niffler wallet. And he called a, 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 a tech group that uh, no one talk about the short term point price, but uh, more talk about the technical part. And uh, <clears throat> we also know that China doing such great on um, exchange part and the ASIC manufacturer part. So uh, I think they also kind of uh, support the community, and uh, they, because they are benefit uh, pretty much um, before ten years, so they are kind of uh, willing to uh, give their some of their uh, ability support the project, support the developer to get uh, uh, to get the project more healthier. They might profit more, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, let's say, uh, let's introduce some project that the Chinese green community does do. Like first is the Niffler wallet. It's um, the tech part most credited to Xiao Jie. It's uh, like a, he's a solo developer doing the wallet. And uh, then the Funo Day event is just like the Niffler wallet support the Funo. And the green Funo is so light. And we want to uh, uh, encourage the community members to participate, so it's really easy just uh, install the, the wallet, you can just uh, run Uno, so we, we encourage the uh, community member at least uh, run the Uno in every month's uh, fifth. So that's uh, really good to, uh, to, see, to see the project grows and uh, we're doing uh, such little things but uh, make the community atmospheres uh, like uh, it's growth, like uh, we, we can see the process. Uh, then, uh, so the full node, uh, we want it more, and we want uh, the uh, like the on-chain trans transaction more. So Xiaojie is doing a, a green shop, uh, only accept the green, and uh, I'm doing uh, this hoodie, uh, selling on that shop. So uh, also uh, like the project, and. Uh, Oh, there's an ongoing thing in Goblin Pool. I see that uh, uh, you can connect dots uh, like this pool. If you are in, in, uh, in China, you might know some big miners. If you are up to some of big miners and uh, you, you have someone uh, willing to do a pool, boom, there's a new project. So uh, this project might uh, like to some big miner to like go through this pool and uh, they can like kind of like support the green Chinese community it's in, in such way. Yeah, this is an ongoing thing, so I hope it's going well. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's a lot of activities uh, here, and uh, uh, we say there's a lot of exchange, and, and uh, doing uh, uh, AMA and media support, and uh, also help sponsors on Meetup, like Blue Helix, BHAX, Gate.io and uh, we are doing a live stream in Gate.io AP. And uh, then then as well it gets there's a live stream and record video. If you are your if you are on Well EX you can find me uh, on introduce the some the, the the good way of the green project and uh, they are also coorganized the uh, meetup on Hangzhou. So others there's uh, other Activity is really interesting is because there's a, uh, some of the uh, it's one of the partner of the big fi uh, mining facility. They are welcome the green community members to visit their mining farm, and we uh, uh, 
And we got uh, like seven or eight people to visit that farm and then we bought a lot of hashery there and uh, mining in green and never sell one of them. <clears throat> and then uh, there's uh, so, so the big uh, ASIC manufacturer, we can kind of we interact with the ASIC buyer and seller, not you know, you know, really that's uh, another company like named the Micro, and uh, we can see that. Uh, uh, so, so every big conference, blockchain conference this year, and uh, in China, is they all uh, like more or less uh, to mention green. It's it's every conference finally that uh, become the green meetup. If I join there. And uh, so this is the picture that's uh, on the conference, they mentioned green and uh, I can say that uh, it's really high from, from my source of info and uh, it's a really high probability that uh, like uh, maybe near a few months we will see the hash rate jump. Uh, yes, yes, like we can see. Uh, finally, uh, we can say that uh, the sticker that made by the uh, community members is like the uh, uh, all of the people that um, might not good at coding but they are uh, still contribute in the community by in, in their ways. So and uh, we, we, for 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 we are aiming so there so will be uh, more footnotes and more people contribute to the project and they will um, like to. Like to build the project more, more and more better together. Thank you. Thank you, you have any questions? Yeah. Uh, what is the. Like, so, does Grid work okay in China? You don't need a VPN to connect to peers? Uh, you mean uh, use the wallet or. No, to run a node. Find oh. peers. So, uh, it can find peers without VPN, yeah. What is the legality? How is, is using, what is the state of legality? Like, is it legal to use cryptocurrencies in China right now? Are there any restrictions coming from the government? So, it's uh, never uh, like an illegal thing of, uh, uh, like, a, not an announcement of illegal to use BTC right now, it's never uh, uh, that's announced, but uh, kind of uh, it's like, uh, we'll, let's make it a gray area, so <laughs> so let's uh, make the make the project bigger and bigger. So you know that Canon is uh, IPO yesterday, so like the government support it uh, in, in some way, like like maybe the, like the maybe the, the blockchain or something, that, that it's uh, depends, yeah. Okay. Uh, one question here, uh, just one last question. Uh, how business are adopting green or cryptocurrency in China? Uh, adopting how? When? Uh, how business uh, businesses are? How business? Uh, yeah. So so we know that uh, Xiaojie is doing uh, like a e shop of the green uh, hoodies. So and uh, he he also develop a uh, uh, like a. Uh, Plugin named uh, Green Pay, so it's uh, really easy for uh, e-commercial to uh, use that uh, e-pay plugin, so he can uh, adopt Green. Yeah. Thank you. Um, hey, you uh, hinted at the hash rate potentially jumping in a few months. Uh, what do you foresee as, uh, uh, or what do you foresee happening as a result of that? Uh, and to kind of guide you in the right direction, uh, as as um, regarding price as well of green and, yeah. and anything else in the ecosystem. Uh, for me, that's uh, what I learned is about uh, the ASIC buyer or the ASIC seller. They are kind of uh, participate uh, long termly, so they can benefit a lot. So they are also want to want the, the ecosystem go very healthier. They're not the one to uh, uh, like uh, attack or, or doing bad things. So I think that mm, it's it's like there's uh, ten years before you, you can know the history of BTCs. 
it's the growth. And uh, it's like to say that uh, we know the benefits and uh, like some risk, but uh, well, let's, I, I will try my best to uh, prevent the risk. So uh, maybe like the hash rate to, uh, to, to different pools and things like that. So encourage everyone to uh, make the network healthier like that. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming all the way.